Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to another awesome edition of Mon Toys, man. Oh, hell yeah, we finally got something. We got, he finally came in, and that is the man right here, the foot enforcer. I have no idea where he comes from. Well, I know he's in the Mirage comics, but I've never seen him in the comic books yet. I'm at the part now, I think I've been talking about it during these Mirage comic reviews. I'm at the part right now where they're stealing a cow, and uh, yeah. If you 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 follow me if you if you've uh, if if you've been watching these uh, reviews, but yeah, uh, basically they haven't gone back to New York, and you know they kind of look. Oh, sorry about that. They kind of already look like the turtles in the uh, the four pack. Uh, it, I think it started once they went to the farm, but uh, let me know. Okay, but we got here. We got the foot enforcer. As you can see, Eastman and Laird, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is all custom artwork, I believe, by Eastman, man. So uh, I'm keeping all the packaging, dude. I just got to figure out where I'm going to store it. But anyway, let's get down to it. Foot Enforcer right there, as you can see. Uh, out the comic book, a comic book shot right there. Uh, here we go. Issue 9. I think that's the issue of figures. Uh, I may be wrong. And here he is right here looking super, super menacing. You know, ready to look like he's about to cook something up. And here are a bunch of product shots. And I'm proud to say I have all of these. I have opened him, him. I haven't opened them. And my, it's just one, but I bought multiple versions of these foot soldiers, you know. Uh, so, yeah. And here are all the folks that brought this figure to life, man. The director, the scope, fabrication, paint, prototypes, photography, packaging, and illustrations by Kevin Eastman. See? Uh, yeah, man. These guys, the sculpting uh, may. Uh, yeah. It's dope. All right, man, let's get this man out the box. Let's see how he's going to look. I am excited. Peace. Man, talk about a lot of blue, man. You know, introduction to the to the new set. <laughs> you know, uh, highly influenced by Unparalleled Universe. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm really happy about it. But yeah, man, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. We got him right here. We have the man, the enforcer. I think he's like the leader of the um or a sub boss or a boss to the foot soldiers but uh yeah i like i'm telling you i haven't gotten to the part in the comic book but uh off the bat he looks pretty dope uh he looks pretty clean let's uh take a look at him aesthetic is nice you know uh you know they got the cell shading down right you got all kinds of blue like a uh a darker blue here and a light blue outside here all the colors mesh well you know what i'm saying it isn't like a a a hard light blue here and a dark blue here it like nicely merges into that color or at least you feel like it does at least it does for me and then we go here we go to the back and he's a samurai of some kind i believe and yeah look at that the wrinkles right here uh his helmet slash face mask and then he has the nice the rags coming out of here um the spikes on his on his wrist and fist this is oh this is dope and then the bandages on his feet you know so yeah man he's looking super fresh I think I think aesthetically he feels good. He feels nice, and you know uh, this. Oh, cool! I can move it. I wasn't able to move it when I first took him out. They come, you know, they come a little stiff. That's how you know when you get, you have a new. That's how you know it's new when it's just hard to to move around. So, yeah. All right, man. Let's talk about articulation. All right, so we have a shoulder swivel here double jointed uh, elbows which is nice but you can't really uh, uh, make a lot of articulation here because it's hindered by the bandages you know uh, and then the shoulder blades you can move them a little bit his head uh, the bandana or the, the these rags they are kind of hinder his movement but you know he can move left to right can he move up he can look down. That's how down he, he can look. Uh, no ab crunch on the... Uh, um, that'd have been nice to have. You know, a nice little ab crunch right here. That'd have been cool. And uh, this is how far he can look down. 
course, it's all hindered by this here, by his got costume. Uh, double jointed knees. Ooh. Oh, look, I didn't notice this, this black part here. That's dope. Like, the color on this figure is pretty nice. You know, it all meshes pretty right. I think that's the cell shading, right? I may be wrong. Uh, so, double, yeah, double jointed knees. Do we have swivel? Hey, it's funny when I moved. <laughs> when I was moving his knee right just now, my my ankle like popped. I was like, damn, what the hell? Anyway, um, and then do we have articulation? Hinges at the feet right here. Nice. Okay, okay. ankle rocker. Not bad. I like it. I like it. And yeah, articulation is nice. I mean, you're going to be able to get this guy in some, you know, menacing moves, walking with his with his cane, with his swords. He, I mean, he comes with a bunch of stuff, man. We'll talk about his accessories. But, yeah, I mean, he he definitely, I mean, let's see, let's get him. Ugh. You know, let's get him going. Articulation is solid on this figure. Uh course no butterfly joints and it just i think it'd be nice if it had a nice little um app crunch oh yeah and then we got hinges on the on the wrist here can we move them uh it's gonna be yeah sometimes we just gotta break them in but yeah all right so let's talk about the man's accessories the enforcers accessories all right so, in terms of hands, he comes with four four pairs of hands, the fisted hands that he actually has right now, and he has these pair of hands right here, where you can actually stick his swords in. Yeah, All right. Oh, excuse me. And then he has his. NWO NWO hands and then he comes with a um, a pair of karate chop hands a pair did I say career <laughs> a pair of karate chop hands man you know yeah the hands are dope and then he comes like with this triple nunchuck type of weapon. You know? Which I think like, I guess you could go like this and these other ones spin. But I've never seen something like this. We'll see. Maybe when I get to that part in the comic book, I'll know exactly how this guy uses it. Let's just put it on top of him for now. Yeah. Then he comes with this like bow staff sword. Which I think is pretty, pretty dope. Let's move about the way a little bit. Uh, look at this. You know, pretty tight. And then it has this little, uh, um, just a little bandana rope tied to the end of it. Look at him like. At first, I thought it was like Leonardo's band bandana wrapped around it, but um, they're not blue or, or they're not colored bandanas in the Mirage comics. I believe they're all still red so yeah that's with that then we have a nice katana blue sword yeah this dude's his his accessories are tight and then he comes with this this is something similar that the um triceraton had but just a little bit smaller yeah let's just pull that one out here's the triceraton weapon Yeah, if the Triceraton actually figure held this, it'd be like a butter knife equivalent, right? But yeah, he comes he comes with a bunch of stuff. I dig him. I mean, he's gonna look nice next to all the foot soldiers. So uh, let's see how he looks like next to. Let's do some comparisons. Some turtles. Ah, okay, he's taller than them. All right, that's what's up. That's Raph. 
everyone's always asking, why is Raph always in your shots? Man, they're all, it could be different. They're all just wearing red bandanas. Yeah, and that's him with Casey Jones. Yeah, man. Here he is next to Splinter and the Triceraton. Yeah, what do you guys think about him? I like him. I like the aesthetics. I like uh, um, how he fits in with the other, uh, how he scales with the other action figures from Mirage. Uh, I like his accessories. My favorite accessory has to be that bow staff. This one right here. Um, but... Yeah, I think he's an excellent addition to the collection, man. I've, I'm trying my best to collect all of the Mirage series. Uh, I think I gave up on actually collecting all the Toon ones. Um, but we'll see, man. Um, yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments below if this is one of your... Uh, what do you guys... If you like it or whatnot, just let me know, man. Holler at me, man. Just having fun getting the chance to pull these out. Um, yeah. All right, man. I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace. I got hella action figures. Damn right. The collection keeps getting bigger. Hell man. Man, will it ever stop? Hell no. I don't know. Look what I bought. New stuff. Brand new exclusives. Comic Con, watch you do this. <laughs> I buy them when they're on sale. Oh hell, that's the lie I tell. <laughs> Gotta have all the Marvel Legends. All of Why is Deadpool so expensive? Got a zero interest credit card. Yeah. My family should be alarmed. Oh yes, CFA at its gots. My toys. Collectors hating gots. My toys. Crush comics gots. My toys. What are my toys? My toys. Oh, my